welcome to Millennial Mum. In today's episode of Cook with K, we are going to be making nasi goreng kampung or village fried rice. So let's look at the ingredients. First, we have some rice. I've taken uh, six rice ladles full, like this, six spoonfuls. I have about 70 grams of fresh ikan bilis or anchovies. And these ingredients are to be pounded. So we have two small onions. I have some chili padi over here. I have six pieces, three green and three red chili padi. I have four cloves of garlic, uh, just a handful of ikan bilis, anchovies, and I have a pinch of blachan, and which is shrimp paste, and some fine grinded shrimp, dried shrimp. Okay, so these ingredients we are going to use to pound and over here the other ingredients we have is some chicken cubes, two eggs, uh, ikan bilis cube, this is kangkung. Uh, so for kangkung you have to really wash it, soak it in salt water and wash it and if you're using the stems remember to slit the stems uh, just so that there's nothing inside sometimes you find worms inside so we don't want that inside our nasi goreng kampung so yeah just to be safe it's good to slit the stems i learned this tip from my mother so thank you ma and uh, this is oyster sauce we have one tablespoon of oyster sauce besides that we have some pepper powder that we will be using together with the eggs later on and this is optional it's completely up to you but I love my sambal ole so I'm just going to use a little bit of that as well and let's get cooking okay we've taken out the roasted shrimps and lachan now we're going to pour in some oil. Okay, the oil is heated up. Let's put in the ikan bilis. all fried until nice golden brown and we're gonna take it out and set aside okay now we're going to pound all the ingredients together first the onions next we put in the garlic Next, we put in the chili padi. Okay, just clean the sides. And we're going to put in the ikan bilis. More ikan bilis. Put in all. And lastly, the shrimp paste, blachan, with our dried shrimp. Okay, so we're going to tumbuk sehingga lumat, which means pound till it's fine. Keep pounding until it's as fine as possible. 
So this is the result of everything pounded together, all the ingredients that we needed to pound. If it's a hassle for you to pound or you need to do this fast, then you can always use a blender. But uh, of course, the traditional method of pounding gives more flavor and taste to the dish as compared to uh, when you use a blender. But anything that suits you will do. So, okay, once you have fried the pounded ingredients, and you can get the nice aromatic smell coming out. We're going to put in some sambal olive. Okay, this is optional. It's totally up to you. But I really like sambal olive, so <laughs> I'm just going to put in a little bit, like half a tablespoon, just for some flavor and taste. And we just pour in the egg. We're just going to mix that in, put in the chicken cubes, okay now we're going to put in the ikan belis cube, okay, so give that a mix, okay now we're going to add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce, just put that in. Push it to the side, let it cook, and we're going to put in the kangkong now. Go in with the stems first. Let it cook for a bit. Kangkong. Okay, cooked. Mix it all together. And now is when we're going to put in the rice. Okay, for this rice, I've used overnight rice that I've kept in the fridge. So every time I make nasi goreng, I like to cook the rice a day in advance if possible and keep it in the fridge and then cook it the next day. Okay, so this will actually make it like, uh, make the grains separate out from each other instead of, you know, you immediately cooking it hot and using it. But if you don't have time and you're cooking it on the day that you're making the fried rice, so you can just cook it and cool it down or just keep it in the fridge for a while before you use it to fry. Okay, our nasi goreng kampung is almost done. Just before taking out, I'm just going to sprinkle the ikan bis that we fried earlier. Sprinkle how much you want you are liking then we just give it a quick quick stir make it all go in and it's ready to be dished up and served so this is our beautiful plate of nasi goreng kampung ready to be served and eaten warm I have topped it up with samo ikan bilis and I have garnished with some red chilies, fresh red chilies. And also, I have sliced some tomatoes and cucumbers to have by the side. Do try out the recipe and enjoy!